Hello friends, welcome to Databricks video tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to create jobs in Databricks. If you want to create, if you want to orchestrate your notebooks, whatever you have created, or jar file or sparks jar mean, so we can create jobs in Databricks. So if you once you log into Databricks, there you can find one model called jobs. So I have one sample notebook here. So this is a unit testing a notebook, just a sample notebook to show you how to create a jobs. So if you go to jobs tab, there you can find one option called create job. So if you click on this create job, there you will get a multiple options. So let's look at one by one. So this one is your job name, which name you want to give. Job unit testing or you can say job python unit testing it's a user defined name you can give any name okay but uh, main is the standard names which you are following in your project then so this job can be scheduled for notebook or jar file or spark submit so if you want to schedule your any notebook you can choose from your folder shared folder or particular uh, notebook okay you can select this is one option another option is if we remove this select a jar file if you have already jar file if you want to submit so you can choose jar file and directly you can use spark submit as well here okay so this is the three options you can use in databricks for creating a job so i'm going to choose the first option which i have already one notebook I want to trigger this and if we have any parameters we can use this parameters so currently I don't have any parameters just we'll go with the normal then the major important one is cluster so if you click on edit there are multiple ways you can create a new job cluster as whenever you are triggering that particular notebook or for this job so the cluster will be automatically created and you can choose the configuration and auto scaling this one option and another option is you can choose existing clusters so normally data engineering projects we will use job clusters so job clusters means dynamically it will be created and we will select auto scaling based on load capacity it may increase or it may decrease that is scale up and scale down will happen that is called job cluster and another option is you can choose existing cluster which you have already created one so in this video as i'm using a trial version so i don't have a uh, much resources here just I, I will use existing one that is single node cluster so i have a single node cluster which i'm selecting here okay this is a single node cluster 14 gb ram four cores uh, and other options you can see here this is called existing all-purpose clusters so you can whatever you created clusters it will display i have only one cluster is available if you have more than one cluster it will display as l over here list of values you can select those then confirm this and uh, final one is schedule and if you click on this option you will get a multiple options here you can see every minute every hour every day every week every month and that you can choose this every two minutes or if you go with the uh, minutes every three minutes or every five minutes and uh, then you can see zone time zone also you can choose UTC or based on uh, which timing you want to run this and uh, just I want to show you every five minutes or every three minutes okay then confirm so this job will be triggered every three minutes and if you want to run now if you want to run now there is an option called run now and other advanced options here for mail alert so if you want to get some mail alert so here you can mention the mail id multiple mail id is separated by comma before start like on job start you will get a trigger and on success it will be triggered on failure also it will be triggered so these are three mail alerts you can use the three mail alerts you can use and uh, the mail will be triggered automatically so if you want to use so 
so I am using the smile on start, on failure or on success. Anything I will get a mail alert notification. Okay, then and other options for concurrent runs you can mention this number. Okay, maximum concurrent runs, timeout and retry. If it fails, if you want to retry, you can retry. So jobs that fail will be retried a number of times based on the policy which you have selected this. Okay. Then this is the available options. Then if you click on trigger now, so the job will be triggered. Job will be triggered. If you go to all jobs, you click on this. Here you can see, and uh, it is running. Here you can see. If you want to cancel this, you can cancel this. And the cluster, it is using a single node cluster, and the status cluster is running, and the task is unit testing. Okay and the name job name we gave a job name this okay and you can see here down completed jobs last six days whichever we run now you can see this job is completed okay you can see this yeah so complete log here you can see the so two functions i am creating in this notebook and i am doing unit testing those and here you can see those results also successfully completed okay so this is the way we can go for triggering a notebook or scheduling a job and logs if you want to verify view spark ui it will be routed to directly and whatever you are executed it will be available here so so this is the way we can go for creating a jobs creating a jobs in Databricks and uh, every three minutes it will be triggered wait for another uh, one minute so it will be triggered another one and if you go down the all triggered logs will be available in down you can see okay it refreshes automatically so latest runs this is you want to get this as a export as HTML you can export or just you can go back now it is running now okay you can open this and you can see down so now it's completed you can uh, so which what time it is executed Here you can see latest one. Okay, this is the first job and the second job. Run idea, it's a sequence ID, it will be created number of based on your. So this is scheduled by scheduler, this is run by manually. So I have triggered use run now option. You can see this launched by manually and this is launched by scheduler. So this is the way we can go for creating a job in data bricks. So if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share this video. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you very much.